nothing left to wear. <laughs> well, when I have a clear out, Emily, I really go for it. Well, luckily for us, thank you very much. This is wonderful. You're wonderful. Oh, you'll have them blushing. See ya. Take care now. Hey, stop that. I'll do that. Oh, give over. I'm not an invalid. Relaxation, relaxation, relaxation. Well, in that case, peel me a grape. Mm. <laughs> Is this my good shirt? Yeah. You're not still thinking about... I'm not listening to the engagement party. Did you not listen to a single word that nurse said? Yeah. A strong and healthy heartbeat. That's good enough for me. Carla. Look. My brother and the Wicked Witch of the West, that bit I'll ignore, are getting married. So we are the only family he's got. So we will go and we will kick high and smile. Well, not literally, obviously. Right, do you want this? Here you go, you've always liked it. I've got no room for you to travel by. I think Pete's got enough baggage for the both of you. You know what makes me sad? Oh, you didn't get to know him. I think you would have really liked him. You know what makes me sad? I've got to go to work. No one knows you're going, and I can't even give you a proper send off. This, this is it. I'm really going to miss you, you know. You are by far the stroppiest person <laughs> I have ever lived with. I just hope Peter knows what he's in for. The one word answers, the rolling of the eyes. Yes, he knows. Well, maybe you've got a chance then. Yeah, I think so. All right. I hope so. And if it doesn't work out, you know where I am, yeah? If I don't see you, text me just so I know that you're... I'm safe, yeah. Yes, Mum. Stroppy cow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just wish that it was more, that's all. Hey. Papa, big boy's toy. You're gonna look it, aren't you, hey? Ta da now. Bye. The Aberdeen? Yeah, change your plan. They want me to start Tuesday. What, that quick? Yeah. Well, that means you'll miss Anna's birthday. Oh, and we need his wages more than we need a birthday cake for me. Right, I'll put a wash on you. What's the next for layers? She'll get over it. Get over it? Love, she'll be glad to see the back of me. No matter what I try and do, it's always wrong. We'll try harder then. What are you doing for birthday? Well, I thought I'd take her for Chinese. That's us the laptop. Well, I'm loving the outfit you laid out, ma'am. Minus the chain link belt. Find somewhere else. You what? Yeah, and not a waspy either. In fact, all your belts are banned tonight. Right, and there is the dry cleaning ticket. Well, my suits are clean. Yeah, but my two best dresses weren't. Uh, meanwhile, you'll be doing what, Lady Muck? What, like a million and one other things? Hair. Whilst we're running around like headless chickens, you're going to be washing your hair? Uh, no, actually, because I'm having an updo. Everybody knows you don't wash your hair on the day of an updo. Which I know sounds really weird, but the softer your hair is, the more product it takes to get it up. And I know it looks like my hair's naturally shiny, yeah, but... I'm like going, love. Oh, you're going, man. I mean, it might look naturally shiny, but actually it takes a lot of effort to get it like this. That's his books. Uh, we can't talk here. But night no, basically outside the flat. 25 to and we'll be free. Don't be late, Peter. And, uh, it looks all right today, but the time she has a tongue in the back, it's like a pillow. You're sorry, what, what? Right, and, uh, the limo will be picking me and my mum up at 7 p.m., OK? Yeah, OK. What, I ate a limo to drive you next door? Rob, are you up for this? It's just the last couple of days, it, it hasn't felt like you've exactly been on board, you know? Trace, look, I'm the luckiest guy in Manchester. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, mate, sorry. Uh, are these for Tracy's, do? No, they're empties. Steve, come here, please. You know when you see them movies, these two juggernauts heading towards each other on the highway and there's, there's a little car in the middle? Well, that's what I feel like, that car. And all I want to do, Steve, I just, just want to shut my eyes. Oh, look, shutting your eyes is what got you into this mess. You know, we had a scare with the baby. And I realised I love Carla and I can't leave her. Well, how's Tina taking it? 
Are you not talk? Are you demented? Look, here, I'm like a dead man walking. I could be the best dad and I could be the best husband ever. But Rob is always going to have that gun at me head. And one wrong move, boom. Oh, so you're going? No. But how do I break that to Tina without her running straight to Carla? Beg? Bully? B b bribe? I don't know. But you have got to find a way to shut her up. A watch? Yeah. I know it's advanced, but... That's my dad's. <laughs> oh, it's an heirloom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Some people pass on the family silver. Those McIntyres give green plastic. Well, what about... I, I mean, don't you want it for your kids? <laughs> One day. I mean, don't you think about that? I do, lords. I picture them as mates. Yeah, well, I wouldn't hold my breath. Life's full of surprises. I mean, look at us now. Yeah. Yeah, we're mates. Proper forever mates. Yeah. No matter where we go or what we do. Even if it is a disaster, if Nick takes a baseball bat to the bistro... Again? It can't be worse than endless weeks of agonising. It's like that moment when you're having your top lip wax and she's just like... Yeah, and they hover. <laughs> oh, there you are. Been knocking your door for ages, did you said you were in here? Where is it? Where's who? Simon. Well, he's gone to winter for his sleepover, why? Oh, Nick, that wasn't today. Oh, Alton Towers, two adults, one child. Yeah, of course it's today. I miss my day off. Yeah, but Nick, you said half term, you didn't say today. <laughs> They'd have picked the kids up for nothing. What about you, Anna? Will you be going? Where? Tracy and Rob's engagement party. What? I told you up to them pair of leeches. I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. No, he said he'd rather change hundred stinking nappies. <laughs> With a hangover. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he did. What's he like? Oh. <laughs> You're seeing brighter today? Yeah, well, it's the wonders of a slick lippy. <laughs> I thought perhaps you'd resolve things with Holly. Oh, no, that horse has long since bogged to but like strangers in our own home, right? Uh, right, I need to kidnap your assistant for the day. Her presence is required elsewhere. Oh, no, we can't, can't arrive because we're really busy here. Oh, no, what's so busy? You can turn your back on a snap up birthday meal and a night in a push hotel. Mm -hmm. um... Izzy, help me. Got a cracking deal. Plus, we get breakfast in the morning, but we have to move sharpish or we get snarled up in traffic. I won't stand in your way. Great. Hi. Oh, am I glad to see you. Right, OK, the mixers need topping up, and uh, Deirdre's dropped the cake off, but no stand. I I've got something to tell you. Um, I'm, I'm leaving as of now. I'm sorry. Steve! No, don't. Steve! You've left before, hon, twice. I mean, take the night off if you need to. Just sort them mixers out first. Well, we'll be, uh, sad to see you go. But if you mind say. But well, hang on a minute. Who said I might say? Look at it. Yeah, I'm, I'm terrified. But, I mean, it's a good thing, right? Place we're going, South Sea Portsmouth. I've seen a picture online. We? Yeah, um, me and me and my mate. She's got family who are going to help us settle in, so... Well, good luck to you. We'll miss you. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> What are you doing here? Working. Oh, Leanne, table six on the cheese board. What's she doing here? Working. Uh, can you sort that? Uh, just need to nip out. We've run out of celery. Doesn't look like a fun day out with Simon. Very observant, aren't you? No, it was my fault. I got mixed up. I said that Si could uh, spend the night at Finn's. Oh, I made him a picnic. Picnic, yes. And Nick said he made that. Anyway, it's my fault. I said I'm sorry. Max can have it for his tea. Look, I really need to go. We've run out of celery. Simon, no, she forgot. She didn't forget. She wants separate lives, so what's the point pretending? And it will stay put, right? That's what you're planning on getting up to. Mm, well, wouldn't you like to know? Under exercise, you should be fine. Oh, is that including the tip as well, yeah? I'm a walking advert, David. That's your tip. Are we still on? Yeah. Not having second thoughts? No way. That's what I want to hear. Take the transit to the lockup, see me, and go, but not before. 
before. Simple as? If you did what he told me. When he told me. Engagement card. They're always so romantic, sincere, optimistic. Three qualities you could never associate with Tracy Barlow. Oh, all that fiancé of hers. <laughs> In the end, I went for humour. Two baboons scrapping. If you look on the back, you will see they are actually two proboscis monkeys. Mm. They're kissing. Mm. I thought it would appeal. And are you going to line it with £50 notes? No. Then it won't appeal. We're, We're closed. closed. Oh, now you can keep your bonbons. I'm just here for a word with Rita. If you don't mind. I'll lock up. Uh, you get off. Well, uh, uh, no, no, you've hardly sat down all day. Hi, uh, 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 oh. <sighs> The beginning's a good place to start. <clears throat> I'm moving on. I know, I know I've said it before, but um, this time it's for good. I fell in love with a married man. Oh, Tina, I am sorry, No, love. no, don't be. We're, we're leaving together. I mean, it's a happy ending. Not for his wife, I should imagine. You feel let down and you've got every right. Um, no, I just want to say, um, you've been my mate. I'm a mum. I'm a grandma. <laughs> All rolled into one. And I'm really going to miss you. Oh, we've got to keep in touch. Oh, would this chap of yours not like that? Does he have children? Please don't judge without knowing their facts. Then tell me. Is it someone I know? Does it matter? It matters to me. A man who walk out and his wife and kids without a backward glance. Rita, you're making it sound so easy. What foundation for a future is that? Hey, who's to say he'll stand by you? Because he loves me. And he needs me. Are you ashamed of him? No, that, he is my world. I'm giving up everything for him. And Tina, why don't I feel happy for it's you? It's Peter Barlow. You happy now? The man that I love is Peter. I thought you'd more sense. Oh, nice. Nice. Now, good luck, Tina, or I hope you're happy together, Tina. How can you? With that man. He sails through life just, just taking, taking. Oh, and always plenty of women, strong, smart women, who think they'll be the one. Is that what you think? That you'll succeed where all the others have failed? For heaven's sake, he hasn't been married five minutes. That was a mistake we knew on the day. He went through with it, though, didn't he? Got his feet under the table at the factory, his hands on the joint account. He's a user, Tina. He will bleed you dry and then he will dump you. But you are so blind and desperate for someone, anyone to love you, you can't even oh, see Oh, you'd the... know all about that, wouldn't you? Eh? Rita, Tanner, Sullivan, Fairclough. Love for sale? How much shall I write the check out for? This is like the first day of the next sale. Someone's going to get hurt. Get up. Oh, we'll give him an idea and you try. Scare them into giving us a drink. Oh, That's two yeah. double bonkers. Or should we get some shots as well? Uh, yeah, a two flaming well. sambucas, please. Oh, I like the sound of that. Make it three, Liz. Hey, steady yeah. on. You'll have the place dry by nine. That's the plan. You've got to be some consolation for having to stare at that all night. <laughs> <laughs> right, here we are. I'm rushed off my feet, so you'll have to do the flaming bit yourself. You but be much. careful of the sparks. Have you seen some of the lacquer on these? Yes, <laughs> finally remembered where I'd seen it. Oh. On Liz's dressing table. Well, that is gross. I hope you wiped it down. Come on, dear, did you get your cake out? Don't drop it. Cost a fortune. You know, she's so ham-fisted, I can't wash this. <sighs> <laughs> 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 
Bravo. <laughs> Congratulations on your engagement, Tracy and Roy. <laughs> Roy! Where are you going, Roy? Mom, <laughs> um, why didn't you check the writing before you left the shop? Well, I was in a hurry. I had a whole string of jobs to do. Hey, Rob, newsflash, you sat, we've got it in icing. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Emily, this will warm me cockles. Do you want one? Uh, oh, no, thank you. I, I think I'll stick to my sherry. <laughs> I think you're very wise. <laughs> oh, congratulations, bro. These ain't gritted teeth, honest. <laughs> Here. Mm. Well, Look, they're only vouchers, but don't let Bryce get a mix uh, on them. No, no. Suspension of hostilities, yeah? Well, one night at least. <gasps> Christmas in the trenches is this. <laughs> hey, Tracy. Congratulations. Thank you. Shall we go and take a pew? Sorry. Oh. Sweet sister. At least she had the grace to look embarrassed. Oh. You know. He's death by a thousand cuts. I wish she'd put him out of his misery. Look, Gail. She's been in bits. They've been off more than they have on for weeks now, and I don't think Carl meant to hurt Nick. Carl? Leanne's been carrying on behind Nick's back with Cal. Taxi for Eva. What's wrong with you? That kid's burning bridges left, right and centre here. Steve, I can't get near her. It's Carla, Rob, a flatmate. There's, there's always somebody oh, who's Rob in the way. Oh, Rob, it's Peter, and you know it. Grow a flipping pair, will you? Look, if I didn't show, she'd, she'd get the message. Oh, what, and leave without you quietly? You stand her up tonight, mate, and she'll pull the pin. I'm telling you. I think I don't know that. I've got to get nearer. Yeah, quickly. There you are. Get that carcass back inside now. There's only so much small talk I can manage with that wide mouth frog and eels. Come on. How does this remote work again, love? Sorry. on our first date. Yeah, well... That's hotels for you, isn't it? Come on, one Siggy. You've had one. One more. Oh, go on, let's him have another one. She's the right time with this one, isn't she, Mr. D? Hey, you do right, Carla. These fellas need keeping on a tight leash. Hey, Trans Lively in the Rovers, stroke out temperature. Well, you can always tempt me. Oh, you meant a pine, didn't you? I thought I was on a promise then. <laughs> what are you like? I'm a Look at this, it's not the six. It's that. All right. Yeah. Okay, we'll be half an hour and we'll go. You've been amazing. I'm not used to doing this stuff sober either. Okay. Walking out on a free bar, it was such a lovely week. No, there was something funny in that sambuca. Yeah, more sambuca. David! Taxi for Tina! Uh, yeah, that's me, mate. Listen, uh, my bags are in there. I'm just waiting for my boyfriend, all right? I'll be about two minutes. There you go, my darling. Oh, my, and your timing is incredible. It, it's for the toast. Yeah, well, I, I'm good. You, you don't want a toast. So your own brother gets engaged, but you don't want a toast. Yes, well, your own brother's dry. I've got a book's fist, so what's the big deal? Oh, I get it. Our Prosecco isn't good enough for you. Well, I'm really sorry we couldn't run to Krug. I know it's what you brush your teeth with. You know, Rob, give us that before I do it for you. Uh, you can't talk to me like that. Hey, it's my party. Hey, Trace, come here. Come what? on. Okay. Okay. Rita, to miss a party. To miss the opening of an envelope. Did I say that out loud? Oh. Uh, evening, Roy. Hi. Um, I've got a book uh, for Simon, but there's no one in the flat. Have you seen Peter tonight? W with Carla, on their way to the engagement party. 
Calm yourself Look, down, I told Tracy. him that this would happen. Okay. She has been like, dig, dig, All dig right. the entire night. You know, I wish the bitch had stayed hey, at home hey, and caught hey. on a beauty. Why don't you give your gob a rest, princess? Ooh, preloaded, are you? Get on the bolly and stolly cocktails at sunset. She is rubbing your nose in it, Peter. She's a lush. I am stone cold sober. Have a drink, then. Oh, well, sorry to tell this stupid car. I'm not having a drink because I'm a stop. It's because I'm pregnant. <laughs> What did she just say? I'm going to be an uncle. Wait! Wait! We'll pay you for your time! What is wrong with you? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a toast to the luckiest fetus in the world, Peter and Carla's baby. <laughs> No, it's Speech. your night. Speech. Come on. All right. <laughs> OK, uh, well, we were, as you can imagine, we were both shocked at first. Um, Carla <laughs> is not your typical yummy mummy. <laughs> um, but we are over the moon about the new arrival, aren't we, Yeah. Oh. Are you grandma? Yeah. Are you grandma? Yeah. Are you grandma? Yeah. Are Where's Tracy? She popped her, Mum. I'm just going to go see if she's all right. The last few months, until just recently, I've been having an affair. I'm going to call her now and tell her everything. When? How about right now? When did it start? On our wedding night. I'm going to go to the police tell them about you and Tracy. I know you dodgy schemes that you're cooking up to put it out. Who is it? It's Tina. Do you have what it takes to eliminate one of our suspects? Go to itv.com slash Coronation Street now for your last chance to predict who kills Tina. Next, we get the results of this week's first live semi-finals of Britain's Got Talent here on ITV.